Thank oh you. Oh my God! And yeah, I know. Instagram I never, stories with your daughter. Well, it's... I have a private Instagram account for. I'll give it to you guys. Oh. But I had to stop okay. putting her on my Instagram because. Uh, some guy asked what size her feet were and that she had beautiful feet. Oh and I was God. just like, I can't That's it. I can't do this anymore. Done. I yep. can't. It's not fair. I Good can't job. do it. So now, because of that fucking creep asshole. Now I, <laughs> you know. Disgusting. So I'll put it on the stories so once in a while. It was to me one night. I just was in bed looking at all your videos with her and just laughing. And it was like yeah. watching cat videos. It well, just really soothed yeah. me. I'll give you the, uh, there. I have them all up on a private. And it's just um, her feet. Instagram. It's you. just yeah, her I gotta, feet. Yeah, I got to like, I, what did I say? <laughs> it's just her feet. Oh it's my just God. her feet. I thought he was going to punch Andrew for a second. Yeah. Didn't it look like for yeah. a brief oh, no. second? He did goes, what you say? I'm here with my favorite uh, guests that I've, some of my favorite guests ever. Well, you know, you know Anya Marina already. Hey, girl, it's so good to see you. I missed you. It's been weeks. I know it's been so many weeks. I can't I'm wait so to hear about bad. Stern. Um, it was great. Yes, and then uh, Andrew Collin is here. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh my God. It's been hours. <laughs> it's been so thirty many. minutes since I've seen you. <laughs> Uh, been on your couch. I know that was. I, we'll get into that. That was a long day yesterday. I heard about that. Yeah, it was, you know. Then one of the funniest guys and uh, just a, a good friend and a, just a, a a great dad. Uh, a, a, a Easy on the eyes. Look at this handsome motherfucker. A hot guy, Chris DiStefano, Everyone. Hi, Chris DiStefano. I'm not bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked me if I was bisexual in my DMs uh, earlier today. I just want to clarify I'm not. You must get that a lot, though, because don't you kind of flirt with the idea of, like, you are, like, attracted to men's spirits and then women's bodies or exactly, something like that? Exactly, yeah. I say, like, uh, like nothing gets me hornier to have sex with a woman than a good conversation with a man. <laughs> so, that would make me so sad. Yeah, like, anytime, like, Andrew and I have gotten, like, deep, I've been yeah. like, who, uh, you up? <laughs> you know, to, like, some girl. <laughs> That's real. I Why like you want to fuck me though? <laughs> no, but I don't. Because yeah. I'm not know. gay. What, is that, that doesn't, what does that mean, Chris Stefano? What does that mean that you, that intellectual conversations with men, why aren't you having these with women? Do you want to know what I think it is, truly? Yeah. Because I think I'm so sexually attracted to women and like I just want to like animalistically like have sex with a woman that when she's talking to me, I can't really listen to anything she's saying because I just want to have sex with her and like. <laughs> like try to procreate like viscerally but when a mm -hmm. man's talking to me I can listen to everything he's saying because I don't want to have sex with him I kind of just want to sit in his lap and hear what he has to say okay that lap. makes more sense yeah okay yeah um is that I, stupid little, no it's just I have a theory about what you're saying okay um so sometimes when you're in bed with a guy, and a lot of women can relate to this, you, you'll be having, maybe you have some, there's a sexual problem that night, and like, it's not connecting or whatever. Then you'll have a conversation that's difficult, and suddenly the guy has a boner, and a lot of women that I've talked to will be like, I don't know why, we were just talking about like our fight, mm -hmm. or and we were like calmly talking, and it was like a scary conversation, and he has a huge boner. Men like intimacy, they get turned on by intimate, they don't love to get there, but then once they have had intimacy, they want to fuck. Good call. Hmm. So you're having intimacy in these Nothing male Nothing shrivels my dick more than the conversation of <laughs> just, a, well, <laughs> just a fucking raisin It dick. really does. Like, I, I, that happened last time. We, really? like, yeah, we had a problem, and with, I was <laughs> not being able to get hard. And, oh, well, uh, not a conversation about not being able oh, to get oh, hard. Oh, 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 well, it's like, a, it's hard to describe. It's like a nuanced, it's happened, I know it's happened to every woman, I know, where you're having this conversation and just out of the blue, you're like, why are you hard? And it's like, I've gotten you were wet vulnerable. when a guy was crying, though. Like, so yes. I feel that, where I'm like, Well, you held your pussy to his face. <laughs> 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 I've, I truly well that turns me on as having an intimate conversation because I'm like oh my god this person is capable yes. of like deep emotions remember when I was dating that older man and we had tons of sexual problems and yeah. then this one night I was like listen what kind of porn are you into and he's like I don't I don't know you well enough to tell you that no and he said that yes, really yes yes and then I go really we've been dating like seven weeks mm -hmm. and I go come on like what kind like this kind or that kind or this kind and he's like, I'm just, I'm really uncomfortable with this. And I'm like, dude, there's no shame. I'm down with whatever. Like, everybody watches porn. It's okay. And then he goes, well, I guess I kind of like this kind. And it was nothing big. It was like, no big deal. And I go, yeah, that's fun. We should, like, do you want to play around with that? Like that? And then out of the blue, he had a great boner. Well, because you were talking about sex. 
And you I were know, talking about let's do some w- of the stuff you're watching. Yes, I know, but he was really uncomfortable and hated the conversation. Oh, right, right, right. right. So theoretically, oh. I was like, interesting that he's like protesting so much and he hates it. And he's like, I think he almost even wanted me to leave. Right. And then I'm like, you what have a, a pussy. I know. And then I'm like, let's <laughs> have sex. So he really much. sucks. Oh, I'm uncomfortable. Anytime a guy says I'm uncomfortable, like you guys, I I would be <laughs> yeah. out as a woman. I'd be like, don't use that word if you're a man. <laughs> yeah. What are you fucking uncomfortable with, guy? Shut up. <laughs> what kind but of porn I'm was he into? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty uncomfortable. It, I promised him I wouldn't say. It was oh. so not a big deal. Like oh, I know yeah. when guy. people think that it's going to be a big deal, it's always the most vanilla shit. It was so okay, vanilla. But yeah. when you play yeah. porn during sex, do you hold it on your phone while you're riding them? Like, what do you do? Or no, do you, just you play watch it, on... it while laying on your stomach, and then they're behind you. <laughs> and he can't oh, even I've see never it. Done. Yeah, Wait. he's a narcissist. Oh. No, 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 he can, he can he see it, worst. but you're watching like this, and then they fuck you from behind. What if you just put the phone on your back? And you just became like a wall. Well, kind I don't. Of thing. Well, I want to watch it too. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Mm. I've never had sex while watching porn. That's what I'm either. saying. It's it's just more fun to have sex. Oh, well, you guys have never had a, a, a relationship that was dying, <laughs> and you you needed something to bring it back to life. Trying anything. He just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch porn. Actually, it's a good. It's fun because then you do the things. In like, and sometimes guys don't want to fucking do any foreplay, so you watch porn and then you get all wet and yes. then you can bang on top of that. I'd be open to that. I don't think yeah. it's such but a the, rare but thing. But then you're watch watching porn. a guy just plow a woman like a freaking <laughs> badass, and then you're just like, eh, 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 you know, and then your dick's That's going you. soft. Uh, yeah. Don't think of it that way. Uh, I'm Mm-mm. I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. You you don't get jealous of a guy drilling in, in porn. Um. <laughs> Like, no. you don't feel like you'd be competing against him while you're watching it? While I'm watching it? No. With you know a what woman? actually turned me on once, which is I just think I have a sick, warped mind. I was having sex with this girl, and she didn't want to watch porn. She wanted me to watch videos of her sucking another guy's dick. Ooh. Love it. And I was like, that's kind of cool. Love it. You yeah. liked it. I don't care because I just like, I'm not, um, like, I've never been like, uh, like the jealous type or like insecure if like a girl's like had sex with other guys. I'm like, yeah, I get it. I mean, you're a human being. Do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. So that kind of like really, that turned me on oh, that's a cool. lot with her. Yeah. He was, he was, the guy was uncircumcised. So it was just kind of gross. So I was like, can you, <laughs> can you get a circumcised cock next time? She's because like, yeah, I got the nine of them. With it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, if he, this guy needs to get, lose the foreskin Wait. if I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be down. What if she showed you a video of two men having a nice conversation? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, if she just if she just put on like a fucking she's like a check podcast. this out like a podcast yeah like between, a TED talk between Jordan two blow ferns. it all over her face. <laughs> Joe Rogan talking to Jordan Peterson. Oh my god, that would be oh. sick. Yeah, that would be sick. But yeah. I have a, a a question for Chris. Um, so. Could you ever have that kind of intimacy with, would you want to have that kind of intimacy with a woman where you're like friends and you have that as a bedrock of your relationship? Yes, but only now because I've been through so many different kinds of relationships and so many situations like with my kid's mom that I'm just like, you know what I actually would prefer now is just a woman who maybe, I mean, definitely wants to have sex, but like maybe she doesn't want to do it all the time. What she'd rather do is like just sit and chill and talk and not you know, not always constantly be like, is everything okay? Is everything, like a very secure, independent woman is like, would just be like perfect for me right now. That sounds because, so healthy. Yeah, I've got there. Because I used to just be like, listen, you know, I, I'm just looking at tits ass, like, are you Puerto Rican? If not, you're out. <laughs> like, I'm just like, that's what I was going after. I was like, I yeah. subconsciously wanted women who were dependent on me because it made me feel like more like a man. But now it's like the opposite. I'm like, I couldn't, I can't deal with anybody that needs me. I would just want somebody who wants me. What that, if but someone absolutely doesn't needed need you? Me. I'm reading this book right now, and it's talking about how women, you know, how it's like biologically, how it turns us on as women to need men, and it turns men on to be needed, but not in a needy way. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, men get aroused by protecting and sure. cherishing a woman, yeah. and a woman gets aroused by a man protecting and cherishing her. So, like, you... Like you were, we were talking in the hallway earlier about how you take care of your daughter, right? And do you enjoy like taking care, of, like paying for a woman on a date? That yeah, I do. But I only enjoy paying for it when I know the woman could do it by herself yes. if she wanted to. That's, That's like, the key. It's right. like if I have to carry you, it feels a little bit like I don't like this anymore. I used to like it. I'll never eat a girl. I could be fucking going on dates with Judge Judy, yeah. but I'm still that'd be sick. Yeah, but, but I'm still, <laughs> but dope. I'd still always pay and get pissed if she paid. 
But I'm right. only it's only because I know she can do it. Yes. And also, you know what I noticed too? I used to always be like, oh, I'm the there's the guy, I'm the initiator, I have to initiate everything. But like recently a girl just came up and kissed me and I was like, Wow, I really fucking enjoyed that. I really enjoyed like you kind of giving me a cue that like you like me and want to kiss me and like I would always be like, Oh, just let me attack you. Like I'll let right. me I'm just out here tackling pussy. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> but now it's like I'd like to be ta I'd like to be tackled. I'd kinda of enjoy well, what that. What happened with that girl? How how did that work out for her? Because we just made out. Okay. Yeah. But uh, were you uh, compelled to to chase her anymore? Because this is the thing. Girls make making the first move, it seems really fun and I've mm -hmm. done it a bunch and I've just been like, When are we gonna make out and just like gone after guys? It doesn't go the way you it, it you get to make out with the person you get to hook up because you just initiated it and they're not going to turn it down and they're into it but you take something out of it for them right which is the chase which you obviously like because that's all you've done up into that point so tell me with this girl that you liked it so much that she came up and just made out with you what's happened since then um well what happened since then is we kissed and we had a second date and then she heard my podcast the history of hyenas and she canceled the date um so that happened because uh she didn't understand my comedy and right. now like i was just like talking about like wild shit and um she was like oh i don't i didn't know you thought like this and i'm like well what are you gonna do um but what what yeah, specifically what did she um I, I was i was telling yeah. politically i was i was telling like crazy stories about like how like I have I was telling I was, well I you can't, can't I was it. telling stories about I'm already in trouble for it Nikki knows about my family oh. um, wow. remember when I told you what it's, I said I can't about even, my cousin so I can't she even heard tell that. it because it's so funny she it's, heard that and I just feel like I'm everything I do is listened to now by my family um, but which by the way I've if been, a girl doesn't like you for telling that story then she sucks and, that, that, and that's what I realized she sucked that's so funny I realized I realized that you know she truly sucked um and then uh <laughs> like <laughs> and then like i just I, I just could tell like it was gonna be yeah it was gonna be bad like you know like we went out for like pizza and she started talking to me about like the cheese making process and how <laughs> it's horrible for cows and i was like just shut the fuck up oh just well that sounds like fun conversation yeah. to a, a gal yeah. like me yeah i was just like i get it i get it but come can we just eat the pizza? You know, and I was like, yeah, listening. And then I was talking about like books I read. And she's like, I, I didn't even know you read books. I was like, shut up. How uh -huh. People say that to me every day. Like she thought she was like original. <sighs> I was like, lady, That's a thing you're that annoying. Where did you meet this girl? What's, where, where's this? Um, in, show. Instagram. Oh, Instagram. That, that's well, then I, how did she go up and make out with you? I don't understand any of this. What do you mean? Is this the girl that just she just grabbed you? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, meaning like we set up a time to hang out. And then she went in for the right. first move. Right, right, got right, 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 right. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Right. Yeah, I'm real, I think like I like, um, I'm just realizing now, like I think like, yeah, the woman has to be really independent. And for some reason, it's a problem, but for some reason I'm being drawn to women who are Republicans. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> like this girl I was talking to from Iowa, she's not about Trump, but she's just like, yeah, I'm very Republican. And I'm like, I don't know why I kind of like you. I'm not, but I'm kind of like you for the, I don't know. It's weird. Because you want to win people over. That's your job. Is that what it is? Yes. Because it was kind of making me think. Like I'm like, why am I into this really conservative or maybe Republican woman? You but, want, you, maybe you're not ready for a relationship now, so you're choosing No, I think I am. Maybe no, I think for the first time in my life, I am ready for a relationship. It probably turns you on to see a girl holding a, Assault rifle. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty hot. No, I think I am. I want to, I prefer a relationship at this point. With I don't want to be, I don't want to be single anymore. With a Trump lover? In Des Moines? In Des Moines. I, I can mean, see like, why are, that's not a really viable girlfriend I situation. I know, it's stupid. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because you know what, you know what, the, subconsciously, the only thing that holds me back from like really getting to like the next step with a woman is like I then I'm going to have to sacrifice time with my daughter for the woman. That's only right, and I like I don't know. It's it's just like this thing I have in my head. Maybe you can Maybe replace you don't have to. the word sacrifice with, because that's such a negative connotation. Maybe you could right. replace the word sacrifice with like, um, like compromise or choose. I mean, or like I'll want to, or maybe you can meld. Maybe you can include that right. person after like six months of serious dating. They That's say true. then you introduce, but like really, yeah. maybe it could be a a bonus to your life to it have a partner. Be. Sounds like you need somebody. Ew, or you I want would never want to date a guy who thought that they were, like if 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 that was me, I would be like 
no, hang out with your daughter. Like, I wouldn't right. ever want him to, like, um, not like or would resent me because he wasn't getting right. to hang out. I would never, I, I, I don't know that I would never, but I just feel like. I guess I just, you I know. don't think any girl's going to feel that way. Like, right. speaking of Republicans, I used to listen to Dr. Laura Schlesinger for years ago in the 90s. And she had this rule where if you were dating a guy with a child or if you had a child, um, you, she's like, you absolutely do not introduce the child to the person you're dating for six months at least because you don't want to sc- put that child's health first. Mm-hmm. That don't introduce them to someone that have them bond to them and then be like, oh, that person's gone. Right. Right. Like, really, be sure this is a lifetime partner or like a long term partner. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. Have you introduced? I do that. No, never. No. no fucking chance. I would. I mean, she's. She only met. She only met one woman ever but that woman was genuinely just a friend but right. i still got in trouble because so what happened was she <laughs> goes back to- did i ever tell you this story no. okay so this woman her name is v so v comes we were at a party up upstate and she it was like a family party uh a friend uh mike cannon you guys know mike cannon yeah, yeah. mike cannon so this lady v comes back with us um to Brooklyn because she lived in Brooklyn she needed to go and I was with my daughter and she want, needed to go back home and I was driving back to Brooklyn so I was like just come nothing sexual nothing at all we get to my apartment I park and she goes hey I really just have to like use the bathroom then I'll call an Uber can I come up quick to use the bathroom and I was like yeah and my daughter and V were talking 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 the whole time and she's laughing at her and she's very like eclectic looking V so um Delilah's like I need to take a bath so I'm like okay put her in the bath and then she's like no I want V to Wash Aww, me. I want V to wash cute. me. So she, V, was, she was like, I can stay for 10 minutes. I'll wash her. Like, fine. It's no problem. So she washes her. And that's like Sunday at like 6 p.m. I don't drop my daughter off the next day until Monday at like 9 p.m. And then as soon as I put my daughter down, like two feet, like her mom's like, how was, how was your weekend with mm-hmm. dad? And she goes, good. She was like, who's daddy's friend V that gave me a bath? Oh. <gasps> and then... Her mom was like, I don't know, who it's... is V? And then she's like, who are you introducing our dog? I was like, no, you don't understand. She came upstairs to pee. To it use, doesn't matter. To yeah. take Vinny, a bath. Vinny. V, yeah, V's a guy. Vinny, I'd, yeah. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather yeah. tell her I was gay than, yeah, I'd rather that. I'd rather have my yeah. kid's mom firmly believe and tell all her friends and family that I'm an open homosexual than right. ever tell her that there was another like girl around our child. a pizza owner named Vinny. Yeah. yeah. I would. Oh, I would. And well, what did she you... say to that, though? Did she get pissed or no? No. Whatever. <laughs> it's just like, it's just fucking in a moment. And then it comes and goes. She's on to the yelling. How the long net. have you been single? Two, uh, two and a, two years. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, re- I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm good with just not hanging out with girls all the time. I'm just good. I'd rather just like hang out with my friends or like find a girl that, uh, maybe just could be to- a girlfriend. Yeah, you're I t- still banging chicks. No, willy nilly. Yes, you willy are. Nilly. But ag- come on, on the you're He's still getting condoms, in. Though. I didn't have sex He's with anybody condoms. in Atlanta. Nobody <laughs> in Atlanta. Because your daughter was there. Okay, but still counts. <laughs> but still, still counts. Uh, yeah, um, I didn't have when sex. When was the with- last time you had sex? Let's talk about it. Don't lie. Okay, last night. But the, here's the thing. <laughs> um, uh, last night? No, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It was with a condom, so it no, does. Yeah. does. It does. It, Chris, Why it does I'm, not, I'm not shaming you. It's fine you had sex last night. You need to get it. But w- it does count with a condom. Who did you have sex with last night? Is it just some girl that you can that is just down, or is it a new one? No, it's just some girl. It's just some Instagram. No, 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 no. This woman. This okay. So this is a woman who she's. We've had have sex often, but she has is in the same situation as I am. She has a kid. Um, and the dad, the dad uh, lives out of state. So when he comes, he takes his kid for like, because the kid's still young, like two or something. He takes his kid for like a week. So when when the kid goes, she's just like all horny, I guess, and she's just like, well, just text me and be like, hey, just come over, come over. So you just went over and no, banged. she comes by me. She just was like, can I just come? Can I just come there? And she just, do you guys like? hang out before or after is it just like we genuinely we genuinely talked about um uh vaccinations um the board of ed's <laughs> new policy on um preschool and then we had sex and then we watched um an episode of the vikings um and she left and then and I, does this woman want anything more with you no are you sure of that she's told me no she's told me okay. like you know like she doesn't want she doesn't sleep over 
What? She doesn't sleep over? No. Just one episode of the Vikings. Just one episode of the Vikings, which what is a great What season show. are you on? Are you season friends? Two. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen you guys seen that show? No. no have you good? watched every episode? Uh, I stopped like season three. <laughs> Yo, season four is fucking nuts. <laughs> that's else? that's more stuff that I kind of get like that I think I just get like horny because the I mean the have you ever seen those Viking guys? I mean, they yeah, don't. You, they it's rape not a and possible pillage, look yeah. to have in 2019. What they what look like is What are you like talking about? You, you are a Viking. You look like a Viking. No, 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 no. Yes, yes you, you are. are. No, you are a tall, big man. Yes. No. You, you, you have could, Viking head. You I, killed a you dragon. You definitely have Viking once. head. For sure. Do you know they invented <laughs> shitting on the chest? I just found this out. But that's not. A, that's a thing. Why you know, is that an invention? You mean it's not an invention. That's it's not like an invention. Edison. Yeah, it yeah, was the yeah. first. The first. <laughs> the light bulb Ding. talks about shitting, shitting on, on the chest. chest. Back in the Viking, first time. Talks. Viking days is the first time it comes up because what they would do is they would raid a village. Well, who is talking about it now? What, what do you mean shitting on? Ch- Isn't that a sex porn thing? Shitting I mean, on the chest. I've never done it and never yeah. had it done to me. Yeah, yeah but how did you find this out? Like, Jim did Norton you read this? It? Because um, yeah, I Japanese I businessman. Yeah, they just oh, said. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So the I'm sure someone shit on a chest before then. Yeah, Is just this like an the French urban legend that jobs. you guys heard in college. Like I heard this thing in college that um, and this is probably racist, but this this went around my college that Japanese businessmen would hire escorts or special women in Japan to eat flowers for three weeks straight. Okay. And then they um. eat their flower poop. What? And it's a delicacy. It's like three. They do have <laughs> like they do have weird it ice sounds cream. Sounds like a racist they, urban legend. Yeah. They really do. They have like uh, like bacon ice cream and uh, like really weird flavors. So that kind of goes in line. Here's with that. a weirder yeah. flavor: flower shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat flower shit pudding, but I wouldn't eat the actual shit. Pudding. Is that your next tattoo? <laughs> what <laughs> pudding? Right there. Doing anything with poop in bed is. I don't like, want to deal with no, it. No, no. Yeah. We don't but, want. What? I mean, you enjoy anal sex, so yeah, once but in a I don't while want you've had shit to be involved. But what if it like a tiny? If it is, bit. it's not ideal. It's yeah. not like yay, finally. <laughs> it's like no, this is not the way it should have gone. I've it never ma- done anal sex ever in my would life. Would you ever yeah. want to? I would do it, but yeah. I don't. I don't even like, know. Uh, it's not like like is, who's it pleasurable for? The guy or the girl? <sighs> Both. Both. The girl. Yeah. I'm telling you, it feels great. But how though? But do you have to still touch your? clit and all that to like I think yeah you know what I like it I like it um I like double like you're you're getting it back there and then you're putting something in your puss too oh, at the same time all clogged so up. you just feel like I'm such a whore all of my holes are fill- you just feel like a porn star I like when I do things that make me feel like a really like a like depraved yeah like a porn star I'm right. just like I never thought I could do that stuff and it makes me feel empowered but I'm telling you, anal feels. Have you ever had it? No, Noah. <laughs> Did you like it? <laughs> it feels great. Have you it ever just, done it? it? Amazing. No, I've tried once with a girl, it and it feels didn't. Good it didn't really work out. It's partially because you're so dirty. Like how? D- I just remember one time it happening, and he was just like, "My dick is in your ass," and I'm just like, "I know," and he's like, "You're fucking disgusting." I'm like, "I know." No. Like, <laughs> yeah. I I love that. Um, and then it also on? feels good. No, when you, it, yeah. um, is this like when you're all the, the, <laughs> that they had a deep conversation during anal turned me on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you make cheese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. So when you're... I like to spit in a girl's mouth. Do you yes. like that? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Or that. she spit in my mouth. That's yeah. fucking okay. high. Choke, That's the same thing. Fun. You think like, it's the same as shit? I think it's in the realm of depraved. It's, we're mm-hmm. naughty. Yeah. Blah, blah, spitting blah. in someone's mouth is pretty sick. When I see it in porn, I'm like, ugh. No, but like when you're in it. When I'm Turn on, yeah. I like doing it at them. breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this weekend we were in Irvine, Andrew and I, um, at the Irvine Improv, and we had to commute from L.A. every single night, and we had um, mm. this guy driving us, Connor Malbuff, uh, open for me and, and drove us. And I, I get really nervous on the highway. Like, I have anxiety about dr- dying in a car accident, and I just don't like people who are reckless drivers. So I gave him a lot of instructions of, like, this is how I like to be driven. Not a lot, but, like, I'm gonna be a backseat driver if You're I feel Karen uncomfortable. Back there. No, if I feel like I'm in danger, I don't want to die because some guy doesn't know how to drive Dude, right. But when you took over, when you drive, you drive like an insane person. Yeah, because I'm in control and I'm a <laughs> d- defensive driver and I'm very good. I would be a great race car driver. I just know it about myself. <laughs> yeah, I can I've see never that. been in a car accident. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. And uh, you've been in accidents. Well, I hit stuff. I hit a garbage <laughs> man with my car when I was 16. But 
Oh, Since yeah. then, nothing. <laughs> you hit the man or the truck? The man, dude. Like you ran over a guy. A man. <laughs> Holy shit, I did he die? Him. I almost did, and then he sued me four years later for a million dollars. Four years later? Right under the statute. Right before four years was up, he sued me. I was in college. I hit him when I was wow. 16. I was in the middle of college. I came back from spring break with my parents. <laughs> I don't know why my parents were there, but we came back from spring break. And I remember I was on the, t- we had come back from the, the airport and I had to go to the bathroom so bad. And I ran into the bathroom and I always leave the door open to pee because my family has no boundaries. And so I'm in there and I hear my mom collecting the voicemails when we were on vacation. And one of them was like, you're being sued for a million dollars by yeah. James, whatever his name was. I didn't even get his name at the time. Hit him with my car when I was 16. But you didn't run. No, but I almost did yeah. because it was so like I, I don't know if anyone listening has ever hit someone with their car, but you're so <laughs> freaked out by it. I started laughing at first because it was oh just crazy. God. Yeah, I felt insane. I was just like, <gasps> "What happened?" And then I thought I have to flee. Uh-huh. I was with my friend, and then I was like, "No." And then I used my mom's car phone because it was two th- year two thousand, and I called um, the police, and then they all came, and then all the the other garbage men were like, "He jumps out all the time. This was bound to happen. It's not your fault." Turns out those guys then spin their story four years later and were like, she was speeding and she didn't care. And I was like, you told me that he did this all the time. Yeah. But he's on the ground outside your car at this point? Yes. He's so what bleeding. do you do? Do you stay in the car? Or do you go? No, I tried to go over and the, the paramedics were all oh, around they were already him. So there. they were oh. already de- And I didn't want to see if he was like really yeah. injured or not. I was so scared he wasn't moving. And um, oh, and so I'm just like sobbing with my friend, and we're wearing full '80s gear because we were going to an '80s basketball game, yeah. like pep rally. So we were wearing like oh big earrings and like polka dots, like frizzy hair. Yeah. And um, this is so funny. And then he, That's then I never hilarious. heard anything. He went away on the the, the thought stretcher. Thought it was over. And I thought it was over. Four years later, he sues me. We go to court. While I'm I'm being uh, I'm on the stand, I have to like go through the whole thing. Like I got interrogated. I made the, the I did jury my hair. laugh. I frizzed my hair. Yeah, I recreated that moment. <laughs> I killed with the jury. I, I almost I killed I literally him. killed. Like, I, it was the first time that I was like, I'm getting, like, I, because this girl goes, you were just driving. No, 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 no. I don't care. No cares in the world. Mommy's car. And I go, I didn't look like that. And the crap, like, they loved it because she was such a cunt. So then... He gets on the only, I feel like the, and this is why our system is unjust, even though it wasn't my fault, I was awarded only 10% of the fault. I didn't know they could divvy up the the blame. He was awarded 90% of the fault. I got 10% because um, that's the way it should have gone, but I think it would have gone differently had he not been on the stand and his lawyer was interrogating him or or questioning him and said, have you ever been charged with a felony? Wait, his lawyer (gasps) brought it up? We didn't even know. We didn't even know. So his lawyer goes, have you ever been charged with a felony? He goes, yes. And we're all like, and he, and he goes, what? And Wait. he goes, child molestation. And I go, Whoa. it's in the bag. Yeah. It's in the bag. Why the fuck would his lawyer do Crazy. that? Crazy. What an idiot. Crazy. Maybe his lawyer hated him. I like, he knew I that he was a bad person. I remember my mom was in the back of the courtroom, and I just like slowly kind of looked back and was like, we got this one. Like, it's yeah. over. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, sorry, kid, I have to get fucking molested, but I, I don't got to pay, I picked the right bitch. guy to hit. Yes. I picked the right guy to hit, for sure. Did but, your um, driving change after that? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I, Absolutely. Going through a, 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 a traumatic event like that, like it's made me a, a good driver. And yes, I do drive. Like I know I scare you when I drive, yeah. but you're not in danger. Okay. You aren't. I'm, I'm if really you good. Were, if I was driving like you drive. Oh, I would hate you. Yeah. But I got... <laughs> I, and I know, but, but I'm a really good driver. I can't make wait to see like your guys' next safe. Instagram clips, and you're just in That's a true. fucking neck brace <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Nikki crashed what? head on, and you went through and the windshield. And she's in the 80s gear. You went through the windshield, yeah. and she's great. She's like, I'll be on, you know. Okay, you're fine. Fine. Andrew molested someone once. Do you once. think his concerns <laughs> yeah. are valid or not? Yes, oh, yes, okay. of course. Really? Like, I really am a scary driver, but I know, <laughs> like, it would be like if you were in a car with a race car driver. Like, you would be yeah. going too fast. They're making, like, they're doing, yeah. they're winding, Jerky. but I'm getting somewhere quicker than we would if you were taking your time. That's You should be a New York taxi driver, because that's really the appropriate yeah, emotion. Yeah, that'd be a They're all killing themselves left and right now. What? Oh, New yeah. York City taxi drivers. I know. Killing really? themselves? They're just fucking killing they're themselves. They're just blowing their heads off Ubers. in their taxis, yeah. So what are because you of do? Uber? <laughs> <laughs> said that so Chris. fucking matter of fact. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, I know one basketball player, mm-hmm. Myers Leonard. What? Who? Myers Leonard. Mm-hmm. He played for Portland Trail Blazers. He came to your show. Uh huh. Then we became friends somehow, and now we talk all the time on Instagram. And uh, when he comes, 
and plays uh, with at the Knicks when the Heat. He plays for the Miami Heat now. Okay. He said he's gonna give me tickets. He's gonna come on my podcast. Cool. Seven feet, great yeah. cock. It's gonna be awesome. Great cock. How do you know about his cock? Seven feet. You got a good cock. What's the tallest guy you ever hooked up with? Six three. How was the cock? Add another eight inches. Nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, we actually, we had a seven-footer on my basketball team in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, his cock wasn't unbelievable. Right. But it was, compared to a seven-foot body, your dick has to be gigantic right. to look proportionate. Mm -hmm. Like, if his dick was on my body, uh, I'd fucking send what dick What would fix. you be? Oh, with a huge cock? Yeah, what would, what would be what Andrew Collin be with a Pardon. big dick? I don't even know. Probably a rock star. Really? Yeah. You think you'd be a better musician? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'd have, have like a good voice. Confidence. Oh right. I don't. I don't think I'd be. It as all funny. starts with your dick. Yeah. Confidence. Yeah, it ends there. After uh, you know, it's um, I did, yeah. Dicks you, are. You talk about other men's dicks more than. Well, you talk any about man. women's pussies all the time. I don't talk about them. I don't go. She probably has like a great pussy. Yeah, like you I don't, did yesterday on your podcast, you or on the show, you literally were talking about pussies that are like yours and, and yeah, how you get mad at the smaller sub, pussies. Right. That was the subject matter. I'm saying with you, you often will be like. Yeah, that guy. Like, you just offered up that this guy, you, the second thing you said about him was that he had a big dick. And yeah. you don't even know that to be true. Dude, this guy is very, hey, I'm Leonard. That's a cock talking. That's a giant, That's, meaty fucking It's hammer. almost like weighing down his diaphragm so that <laughs> yeah. he talks lower. All right. I think, um, I think what, it, I don't know, you shower so much of, like, with men is, like, how big your cock is. And I, yeah. I mean, when women, when when you hook up with a guy, every time you and your girlfriends are hanging out, it's always like, how was his dick? Mm -hmm. More it than is. I ever like thought women, I didn't think women talked about stuff like that for I'm a long sorry time. sorry that I made you more insecure. No, 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 my dick's great. We okay, all know that. Good. It's gigantic. Yeah. It's gigantic. No, but <laughs> it's the biggest dick you've ever seen. What if I talk like that? Fucking, hey, what's up? And what if I talked like this? Oh, your pussy would be so tiny. It's so little. You <laughs> did <laughs> would be the worst. Yeah, well, we I mean, my dick must be huge with my voice. When you shower... <laughs> <laughs> if we're all basing it on this. When you showered in high school on your field hockey team, would you shower naked with the other girls? No, no. What would you do? Just go home, like, dirty? Just go dirty? home, yeah. Did a lot of girls shower together? No, we never showered together. Why? I don't know. That's like a thing. Or, yeah, I, girls don't do that, I don't think. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. I don't remember. I was on the swim team. They I was on the field hockey team. I was in gym <laughs> classes. We didn't. Every movie, though. I know. It's just girls' tits in locker rooms. Yeah, no. We it's didn't. just because guys write We changed it. in front of each other, but you would just, like, you could do it in a way that you wouldn't see anything. I would shower, I'd have to shower naked with the football team. And I was, as a sophomore, I was like 5'3", like 110 pounds. As a girl, you can change, you can like get out of anything. I can get out of anything. I can take my bra off without t taking my without shirt off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if I showered, I would shower with my boxers. I'd get my boxers wet every time I'd shower because I didn't want to show my little Jew dick around like I mean, that's crazy. I know. So you would go, then have to put on jeans on top of your wet boxers? Well, we wore khakis because it was private school. Hey guys, you just watched a clip from my radio show, You Up With Nikki Glazer, that you can hear every morning on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM Channel 95, 10 to 12 Eastern. And uh, you can check out a clip here on YouTube every Tuesday. Or check out my podcast. No!